Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com and we got the Redcat RCMT-10E. So we're gonna run this thing on a 2S LiPo, see how fast it goes. And then we got the 3S LiPo Venom battery. Got a little GPS over here. So we'll do a little quick overview of this vehicle. So let's get started. Tires on it, nice and plush for bashing. The body looks good. We've got the OMG RC sticker on there already. The RCMT-10E. Looking good. It's not a very big truck compared to some of the other 10 scales, but uh, still not a bad truck. And we'll see. I know this thing's notorious for doing wheelie, you know, stunt kind of like type truck. Anyway, let's get into this radio real quick here. So um, when it comes to the trim settings, all in there. I already got uh, batteries in this thing, but just four double A's, little rubber grip that's on it, four double A's at the bottom of it. So it doesn't come with a battery or anything like that. And I will put links down in the description below if you guys want to get one of these from us, omgrc.com. But uh, let's go ahead and get this body off of there. And we'll give you the underside of this thing to show you what it is. But there's our little GPS, so we'll do those speed runs. Nice aluminum plate for the shock tower. So three LEDs up in the front. As you can see here, I think they're CVD, CVAs, whatever you want to call them. But pillow ball suspension, call it pivot ball, however you guys want to call it there. But uh, nice as far as the drive line being metal. 25 kilogram servo, 4,400 kV motor. Nice little uh, case for the receiver. This does come with a little filter, so you can put, you take these little screws off, plop the little filter there. So for the electronic speed control, so you don't get debris in there for the fan. I haven't used it as of yet. Nice little Velcro straps, Dean connection as far as for your electronic speed controller. So nice on there, 80 amp electronic speed controller, speaking of that. Suspension on it is nice. Nothing's aluminum on here. So these are plastic cap shocks, plastic bodies, and then they don't have any kind of um, threaded bodies on them. So you will just, it does come with a little spacer. So if you want to stiffen up the ride, you do get at least a tool basically, you know, for taking your wheels off. And then you have these extra little so uh, shock spacers. So you can, like I said, stiffen it up. Binding plug, antenna tube, other information there. You can check it all out. But uh, yeah, let's get, we want to get this thing running, but let me show you the underside of this. So it seems to be pretty well built. Like I said, I had one of these before and it was pretty stout as far as it was very durable. I'm not going to beat this thing up too much today. And that's what I say, but we'll see how that all kind of turns out. But we're going to at least get these speed runs in. We're going to see how it runs on the 2S and on a 3S, give you guys those numbers. All right, so let's get going. All right, so we're going to get a run of this thing on 2S LiPo. So we'll give it another run here, 25 miles an hour. So that's on the 2S LiPo. All right, still 25, so let's go ahead and put that 3S in there and see how it does. All right, so now we're on our 3S Venom battery, 50, 50C discharge, 5,000 milliamp. So 37 miles an hour, I thought it'd be a little bit faster, but not too bad. Give another run on 3S with the wind here. All right, so 38 miles an hour. I'm gonna give it a full rip here. I just wanna see if it, it could flip or anything. The weak like keep the got me twist, twist, freak up the weak like keep the got me twist, yeah. Freak up the weak like, 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 freak up the weak like,
the weak like keep you got me twist 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 twist